hello everyone in this tutorial we are going to see how to create groovy class and along with this we will also see how to create the script in groovy so let's get back to the eclipse so here in eclipse we have already created one groovy project and that we have already seen in previous lecture so here i am just going to create one class so let's do right click go to new and here we will select groovy class but if you are trying this for the very first time after installation of a groovy plugin in eclipse then this option will not be available here in that case we need to click on this others option go and type groovy and the very first option comes as a groovy class select it click on next and here give the name of this groovy class first groovy class click on finish and it will create the groovy class so here we can see that uh, this groovy class is not having any kind of ss modifier like public or private protected because in groovy by default every class comes as a public class so it is more like a public class first groovy class and like in java for any of the execution we need to call main method public static void main and the syntax will be similar like java we can also remove this public here but for timing i'm just going to keep it as it is so we have just created the main method and inside this we are just going to print the hello world so like in java we were just uh, trying to write system dot out dot print ln but in groovy we are just going to write print ln and whatever string we are just trying to print we can just type it like this hello or so i'm just going to save this project and going to run it so to run this we will do right click here we'll go to run as and we'll select groovy script we will click on groovy script and it will execute the program so here we can see that hello world has just been printed on screen so this was just the sample of first groovy class now we are just going to perform the same action by using groovy scripting and always remember any of the class or script that is going to be written for the groovy will have the extension dot groovy so now i'm just going to create one groovy script i'm just going to do right click here going to file and here i'm just going to write first groovy script dot groovy so now we have just created our first groovy script and this file is not going to have any class syntax or main method so i'm just going to create this and here i'm just going to write print ln hello world going to save it and going to run it so right click go to run as and here we will select groovy script and it will print the hello world inside the console here you can see that hello world has just been printed so here we have just seen the differences between a groovy script and full fledged groovy classes so in groovy script we have just removed those six or seven line of the code and we are able to directly perform the same action through the scripts 
so in coming lecture we are going to see more of the features of the groovy so thanks for watching